Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this twist stitch necklace. It's easy to make and when I show you how to do this element you will be able to do bracelets, earrings and also a ring with this one and I have tutorials for earrings and a bracelet that I'll link in description. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell, also liking and sharing this video. In this way, you help me so much. I can't thank you enough for these actions. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, other useful resources, also a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them and share them on my community tab on YouTube. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 seed beads red and silver. Here I'm using chains, jump rings and a clasp. You could do beaded chain if you don't want to use this type of chains. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness, which is size D. I'm using size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach the jump rings and the clasp to my work. And now I'm going to take two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Now guys, what I have here on my needle are 12 beads in total, 6 red and 6 silver beads and I'm alternating them. I'm going to slide all of those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. I make it by make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made. And then I pull. This is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. And then I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay guys, then what I want to do is to go in this direction through these three beads and I want to exit out of a red bead. Now I'm going to take two red beads and one silver. I skip the silver that's on my way and I go through the following red. Exiting out of a red, I take two reds, one silver and go in the following red and I'm sorry that I also went through this silver, I shouldn't have gone through it. And now I take two reds and one silver and as I'm exiting out of this red I skip the silver that's on my way and I go through the following red. By the way guys I'm going to read out of these shadows that you see here soon because I'm buying a new lighting equipment so stay with me. Now I take two red beads and one silver skip the silver that's on my way and I go through the following and I will continue this guys three more times Okay, and here at my last step, I go again through this uh, last red bead where I started the whole row from. And now what I want to do is go through these two red beads in this direction. And then I will go through the silver one after that. In this step, guys, I'm going to take two silver beads and I'm going in the last red one here.
then I will go again through the next silver. I'm taking two silvers and if you can in one movement go through the red and through the silver after that. Okay, again two silvers, red and silver together just to save one movement and two silvers, red and silver at once, two silvers, red and silver, two silvers and again go through the red and through the silver. Then my goal, guys, is to go through all of those silvers and reach one more time the red part of my work here. Now I need three red beads. And I go here in this silver. After that also through the red one. Okay, in each row you increase the number of beads with one and you alternate the colors. Okay, I take three, go through the silver and through the red one in one movement to save time. Okay, again, silver and red. And continue these three more times. Okay, and I take three red beads and I go through the silver and through the red one. Okay, then three reds again and go through the silver and through the red. Then what I need guys is to reach again one of my silver beads. And what comes next is to take four silver beads and go in the last thread and in the following silver. Place them gently. Four silvers. Go in the red and in the following silver. And continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step, I guess you know what's coming, go through all of the silvers and exit through one of the beads of your next color which is red. Now if you follow the formula up to now, we will need 5 red beads. But from my experience, they won't be enough. So I'm going to take six instead. Okay, I take six instead of five. And what I do is that I go in the silver and in the next red. Okay. Okay, I take six. Because as I expand this formula with adding only one bead in each row stops working. We go out of the center a lot. Okay, six. Now re 
I will do off camera the next three moves up to here. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind and repeat these three steps with adding six from this side and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and here I am at the last step where I'm adding the last six beads from this row. And now what I want to do is to go through three red beads. And I take one red and go through the next three and through the silver after that. Okay, and I make this nice angle here. Now, what I do is that I go in this direction through this red here after the silver and also through the next three of the six that I added in my previous row and I add one red bead. Okay, then again I'm going through these three of the six that I have here, through the first three of them, and I take one red and I go in this direction. And I will repeat this, guys, three more times and I'll meet you here. You could always rewind if you forget how I'm doing something. See you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And you see this cute element that is forming here. Now I'm going to make here a loop and I, I will go twice through the loop I've made. And when I pull, I have a nice knot here. Then I will go through the following seed bead that I have in this direction. And I'm going to cut my thread. Now guys, I want to make four more of those elements. I will make them off camera absolutely the same way and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I did four more of those elements and now there are five. And uh, now I want to arrange them in a shape of a necklace. Okay, how I do this? I do like this, like this, like this, maybe a little bit like this will be better. Okay, more like V-shape. And now I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, I'll put aside this for a while. I will take only this one and this one. And first I'm going to take a new thread on my needle. And uh, what I do here is that I go through some beads in this direction. And here I want to make a knot again by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. And I'm pulling. Then in my next step, what I want to take are five silver beads. And you see I'm here one red a bit away from the angle here. And uh, now as I'm here, I want to go symmetrically at a similar place from the other side. This time I'm going through two red beads away before the angle. And in this way I'm attaching a loop where later I will put my jump ring and my chain. Now what I want to do is to reinforce this one. Okay, now what I want to do is to reach the other part of my work and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and 
After I did this loop, I went through all of my beads like this and I'm exiting here two red beads away after this angle here. Uh, I didn't want you to watch me go through all of those beads because it's boring and that is why I went through it and now I'm back. Okay, so uh, what I want to do now is to connect this element to this one and how I do this I will go here in my next element in the same place like in this one I'm going through these two red beads that are just after the angle you see where I go and I pull like this like this and then I want to go here through these two as well. Now if you want you could go and reinforce this joint one more time. Okay now what I want to do next is go in this direction through all of those beads and I want to exit here where I want to connect my next element to this one, okay? I will go through all of those beads, exit here at these two beads which are next to the angle and I will connect them with these two. So I'll do this off camera, this repositioning and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I reposition my thread up to here. I'm next to these two beads which are next to the angle and I want to connect this bead, uh, this element to this one. How I do this again, go through these two that are next to the bead that is sticking out the most, connect them. If you want you could go also reinforcing this joint here. When you reinforce and reposition, always turn your work the way it's easier for you. Okay, now I'm going to put this one like this. That is why I will reposition by going through all of those bits and I will exit here at this place. Sorry, at this place and I will connect these two to these two. Okay, I'm making the repositioning and I'll be back when I reach here. And here I am guys, now my thread is here next to the one that is at the angle. Okay, you see, I went through all of those bits and I exited here. And now I'm going to connect this one to this element. Okay, I'll do this absolutely the same way that I showed you. I will go through these two beads that I have next to the angle. Like this. Then I'm going back through these two of my first element that are next to the angle. I'm pulling. I go back like this, okay. Now I have these two elements also attached and I want to take this one and attach it here. And after I do this, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your necklace. Okay guys, and after I attached this joint here, I went through all of my beads and now I'm exiting here next to this bead that is sticking out. Now I'm going to take my next element and I'm going to connect it absolutely the same way that I showed you uh, here, here and here. So I'm sure you're going to be able to do this. Just connect those two beads to those two beads. Then reposition your thread through all of those beads and make one of those loops that I showed you that how I'm doing here by adding five beads at 
this angle here and after I'm ready with this joint and this I will be back to show you how to attach your chains okay guys and I did what I told you I repositioned my thread here I made this loop the same way that I showed you here and then I made a knot and cut my thread and all of those steps I showed you several times so now what I want to do is to show you how to attach your chains of course you could do a beaded chain from here okay I take here my jump ring I took smaller jump rings so it could look uh, finer they are so small and so fine and it's difficult to squeeze them back after I put them here but it's worth it because it looks better with smaller ones but uh, you could do regular ones it will still look good okay now let me show you how it looks now the chain is attached and I will also attach it from the other side uh, here is And I will attach it like this, absolutely the same way I showed you. Here I have attached a clasp and here a jump ring. So my necklace will be good to go in a second. Okay, guys, and after I attached my chains, this is my necklace. So I'm sure you were able to do this. Now, if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe for new absolutely free content like this. You could also check description for useful resources and my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Also, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. In this way, you help me so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.